Whether you are new to ant keeping or a so-called pro, the terminology you use for ants can be quite overwhelming. But don't worry, I've got you covered. In this video, we'll break down the essential ant keeping terms and their meanings, so you can further learn about these fascinating creatures and sound like a genuine know-it-all when discussing the topic of ants. Beginning with the common ones, I will then work my way through to the rarer and uncommon terms that I didn't even know about before making this video. So be sure to stick around to the end. Let's get into it. Starting with an ant's body, it can be broken down into three parts. You have the head, which is pretty obvious, the thorax, which is the middle part, and the abdominum, or the gaster being the back end. Now for the types of ants. Apart from the typical worker ant, there are many other names being thrown around within the colony. These include Ninidics, which are the queen's first batch of workers, major workers, which are those ones with the large heads, like this Fidoli worker, drones, which are the male reproductive ants, and elates, which are the reproductive queens. These reproductive ants come out once a year to mate. This is known as a nuptial flight and leads to the founding of new colonies. Following this, the queen will undergo her founding stage, which involves establishing a nest and raising their first workers. Queens during this stage can be known as colostral, which involves not eating food, or semi-colostral, which involves the queen needing to leave the nest in search for food to raise her brood. Brood refers to the eggs, and brood boosting involves giving the queen eggs that aren't actually hers to help grow the colony. And for the last common bit of terminology, we have a form aquarium, which is an artificial habitat designed for ant keeping. Okay, now for some uncommon and even unheard of terms. Formic acid. This is the chemical produced by ants that is used as a defense mechanism to warn off threats. Trophallaxis. This is the process of ants transferring food through mouth to mouth to share the food. A social stomach. This is a secondary stomach that ants have where they store food to perform the trophallaxis. Polygyny and monogyny. Polygyny refers to the colonies with multiple queens, while monogyny describes colonies with only one singular queen. Polyometrosis is similar to polygyny, which allows multiple queens during the founding stage However, later, queens will be eliminated as the colony grows. A gamagate is a mated worker ant that takes on the reproductive role without a queen. This allows a colony to continue growing. Physiogastrism refers to the condition where the queen's abdomen becomes enlarged due to a large number of eggs being produced by the queen. Geolotic ants are known as slave-making ants that raid colonies of other species to capture brood and raise them for their own. Polymorphism and monomorphism. Polymorphism in ants refers to there being different types of workers, such as super major workers with big heads, whereas monomorphism indicates that all individuals are the same form and size. Repletes. These are a specialized worker ant that store large amounts of food in their abdomens. And finally, we have parasitic ants, which are the species that rely on other ants for survival, usually by invading their nests and stealing their resources, and usually fully taking over the role as queen. And there you have it, a wide variety of ant keeping terms. If you have learned anything at all during this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.